In this USMLE high yield video, we will talk about the blood supply of the stomach. Along with that, we will also be able to learn the blood supply of liver and spleen. So the entire story starts from the first anterior branch of abdominal aorta that is celiac trunk. This celiac trunk gives off three main branches highlighted by blue color, purple color and green color. Now this green branch goes along the upper part of the lesser curvature of stomach and this artery is known as the left gastric artery. It is left gastric artery and supplies the upper part of the lesser curvature. The second branch of celiac trunk that is the purple one is a tortuous one which moves behind the stomach and goes all the way up to spleen. This branch is known as the splenic artery. Right? This splenic artery gives off certain small branches to supply the upper part of the greater curvature of the stomach and these arteries are known as short gastric arteries. Also this splenic artery gives off another long artery which is known as the left gastroepiploic artery artery which goes along the middle part of the greater curvature of the stomach and supplies it. Now how to remember the name? As it is on the left hand side of the stomach it is left artery. As it is moving along the greater curvature of the stomach it has the name gastro and it moves very closely to the transverse colon which contains epiploic appendages and hence you can remember the name left gastro epiploic artery. Now we come to the third branch of the celiac trunk that is this blue one. Now this blue artery given off by the celiac trunk is known as the common hepatic artery. This common hepatic artery gives off two branches. One branch moves along the lower part of the lesser curvature of the stomach and supplies it with blood. This branch is known as the right gastric artery. And anastomosis with the left gastric artery that is the light green one. The second branch of common hepatic artery goes down towards the duodenum from the stomach and hence it is known as the gastroduodenal artery. This gastroduodenal artery moves down and gets divided into two branches. One branch moves towards the superior part of the pancreas and duodenum and hence known as superior pancreatico duodenal artery. And the other branch moves along the lower part of the greater curvature of stomach and hence known as right gastro epiploic artery and it anastomosis with the left gastroepiploic artery. Why right gastroepiploic artery? Because it is present relatively on the right side. It moves along the greater curvature of the stomach, hence gastro, and it moves very close to the transverse colon, which contains epiploic appendages. Now, after giving these two branches, the common hepatic artery is known as the hepatic artery proper. This hepatic artery proper gives off three branches, mainly two branches, one for the left lobe of the liver known as left hepatic artery, another one for the right lobe of the liver known as right hepatic artery and from the right hepatic artery gives off another branch for the gallbladder known as the cystic artery. So this is how we summarize the idea of blood supply to the stomach and to some extent to the liver, spleen and pancreas. I hope you have understood this concept well. If you have understood this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school. And for more such amazing content, you can subscribe to my channel and can contribute to the channel using the super thanks icon. Until then, bye bye. See